Whoa. Hello. I'm R.L. Stein. I write the Goosebumps books. The evil of the Haunted Mask lives on in our story, The Haunted Mask 2. This is the basement of the store where the Haunted Mask was made. It looks as if the mask maker left in a very big hurry. Wonder why? You'll soon find out. Viewers beware, you're in for a scare. That party was awesome. I think our costumes looked really good. Our moms did a really good job. Your costume was the hit of the party, Curly Beth. Everyone loves a two-headed girl. Are you gonna wear it tomorrow for trick-or-treat? Mm, I don't want to take a chance on breaking it. What time is it, anyway? It's after 10. We better hurry. My mom's gonna have a fit. So is mine. She's Quick! Something Damn. terrible's gonna happen to me. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Shh. What? Shh. What? Ah! Oh, man. Gotcha. Well, well, well. Chuck and Steve, way to go, Carly. How'd you know it was us, Carly Beth? I don't know. I just got that old Steve and Chuck feeling. You should have seen your faces. You guys were like, <laughs> You were so much more fun last year, Carly Beth. I know. You were so much more scarable. That was last year. Hey, whatever happened to that Halloween mask you had last year? Yeah, that thing was amazing. Oh, that was terrifying. I got rid of it. How come? It was so cool. It wasn't cool. It was evil. Really evil. It wouldn't come off. It, it became part of my face. Ask Sabrina. She was there. Well, the mask definitely wouldn't come off. Well, so it got stuck. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on, Cardi Best. Just tell me where you got the mask. Forget it. Now will you tell me? Give it back. Tell me where you got it. Back. My mom made that sculpture. It's very important to me. Here, Steve. Yes, come on, guys. Yeah, Steve, quit being a jerk. Steve, come on. You better not break that. Hey, don't give it to her. When are you guys going to grow here, up? Steve. Give it back. Guys, this isn't funny. Just tell me where you got it, Carly Beth. That would be scary tomorrow night. He's sick of being a pirate for Halloween. Just tell me, Carly Beth. No. Steve. Thanks, Sabrina. Yeah, thanks, Sabrina. I guess you're just going to have to be a jolly old pirate. Come on, Carly, let's go. Yeah. Well, maybe you could be a scary pirate. Shut up. What'd you do with that mask, anyway? I buried it in a place where no one will ever find it. I fear it, isn't it? Yes. Halloween has brought you back. Yes. I will stop you. No. no.
We're gonna get this great spot. Hey man. Where were you? Hey Chuck. I was looking for you after class. Well, here I am. What's wrong with you? I'm bummed. Tonight's Halloween. Duh. Duh yourself. This might be our last chance to do something really scary. Next year we're gonna be too old for Halloween. It's okay by me. Well, it's not with me. Life's passing us by, man. It's just passing us by. There's stuff I gotta try. The years go by, and before you know it, you're, you're a drooling, disgusting old man. I drool sometimes. Yeah, you're a disgusting young man. Well, cheer up. We still get to go trick-or-treating. Oh, that's great. Maybe we can get our mommies to go with us, too. And I want to scare somebody. Did you see that? Yeah. Didn't it kind of remind you of the mask Carly Beth had last year? Yeah. Hey, mister! Where'd you get that mask? I don't know, he was right here. He pointed over there when I asked him where he got his mask. He pointed over there. Come on, let's go. It's just a bunch of old stores. Yo, check it out. Novelty shop. Magic masks. You think that's what that guy wanted us to see? I'm not sure. I just have this creepy feeling. for business. I, I gotta get home and get ready for tonight. And you gotta get in your pirate stuff. Oh, forget that stupid pirate junk. Let's go in here. Maybe we can find some cool stuff. Whoa. I don't like it, Steve. Oh, what do you mean? The door was open, wasn't it? Something just doesn't feel right. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's check out the basement. Are you coming? No. Chicken. This is scary. This is gonna look adorable on Steve, don't you think so? Is that you, honey? Someone. 
Yeah, well, you know, you're supposed to knock first. I did. Well, you're supposed to wait until I say come in. Don't have any rights around here? Are you sure you're alone? No, Mom. I'm hiding the three stooges inside my closet. Of course I'm alone. I don't need your sarcasm. I'm sorry, Mom. I just need a couple minutes alone. I'll be right down, all right? Anyway, I just came up to show you your costume. Ta -da! Remember how Chuck had a parrot on his shoulder last year? Well, you're gonna have the same thing. Sheesh, Mom. This is great. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, just give me a couple minutes and I'll be right down, okay? Okay. It's, it's great. <sighs> wow. Pirate. Oh, yes. Now, this is way too cool. Steve? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, Mom. Oh, yes. Yeah? Mom, I'm late. I have to get to Sabrina's. Oh, yeah. Do you have that mask from last year? Can I borrow it? I want to be a killer bee. I thought you got rid of that mask. I didn't like it. I did get rid of it. And you're lucky you only put it on once. Why? Because if you put it on three times, it doesn't come off. Where do you get these ideas? Oh, I just guess I have a bit of an imagination. <laughs> It's great. I'll see you later, Mom. Okay. Have a good time, sweetheart. Okay. I will. Okay, bye. bye. Oh, be careful. Okay. Do the duck walk, Curly Beth. <laughs> I love that. It's going to be such a great Halloween. You know, Carly Beth, last year, when all that stuff happened to you with the mask? Yeah? I know you don't like talking about it, but I just wanted to say whatever happened, I'm just glad you're happy and we're out here having fun. I'm glad too, Sabrina. Hey, look at Chuck. I don't know this, uh, Chuck. Is he, uh, one of the Tataglia family? What? I can't understand a word you're saying. What are you supposed to be? A tough guy. Mafia, you know. <laughs> what? A gangster, like in the movies. Oh. <laughs> Where's Steve? I'm going to get him. Did you find a good costume? Is he still going to be a pirate? I don't know. We found this old party store. Party store? Where? On 10th Street? Um, yeah, I, I think so. Just over the train tracks. Did Steve go in? Is that a business? So he didn't go in, right? No, he didn't. Why do you care, anyway? No reason. Steve? Well, let's see how you look, honey. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be right out, Mom. in your costume. Um, I'm gonna get changed over at Chuck's. It's ah! Sparky, what's the matter with you? What have you got in there? Nothing, ah! just my costume. Ah, Sparky! Ah! I swear, Mom, that dog is getting more and more psycho every day. Ah! Sparky! Ah! I'll see you later, Mom. Try to be on by midnight, Steve. Oh, no. Good night. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Bye,
from your clothes. It used to be his clothes before I took them. Took them? That's what I said, sonny boy. <laughs> no, Chuck, wait. Chuck, wait. Oh. oh, man, you were so scared. You were shaking. She's a mask. Where'd you get it? Shh, come here, come here. Promise you won't tell anyone? You took it from that store? Place was out of business. Look, let me see it. Can't tell anyone, okay? You promise? <laughs> yes, okay. Isn't it the greatest? I'm gonna put some serious fear into some people tonight. So, let me see it. This is gonna be a Halloween to remember. Let me see it. You wanna see it? Feels like skin. Dry old skin. I know. Those spiders they look so real. Isn't it the greatest? How are you doing that voice? What voice? This is my own voice, you jerk. Ooh, watch this. <laughs> oh, thank you! Hey, don't do it to me! Make me! Steve, are you nuts? Uh, shut your mouth. What's wrong with you? I just feel so tired. We're just getting started. I just feel so tired all of a sudden. Just need energy. Energy is what I need. I hate mints. All right, would you quit doing that voice? Listen, man, if you're going to be flipping out like this, I don't think I want to be around, okay? What are you talking about? We're going to terrorize the neighborhood. <laughs> this is our night. I just need some energy, that's all. You're disgusting. You know, I'm getting sick of you. You're a weak, stupid boy. What's wrong with you? Would you take off that mask, please? Please, please. Why don't you go home? I don't want to see your crybaby face. What's happening to you? Maybe I'm evil. Does that scare you? No. Yes, I don't know. Just cut it out, Steve. Oh, shut your mouth. Leave me alone. You're nothing to me. Forget you, then. For the duck. Thank you. And one for the cat. Uh, tiger. Oh, a uh, tiger. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Feel the weight of this bed. We are cleaning up tonight. Let's see what we've got. Okay. You guys. Hey, Chuck. Where's Steve? And there's something wrong with him. We know that. 
No, I mean really wrong. What are you talking about? Uh, he's, he's just acting like a jerk. Maybe he's just bummed because he has to be a pirate again. He's not a pirate. He found this mask. This really creepy mask. A mask? Where did he get it? At the party store? Did he get it at the party store? I thought you said it was out of business. Yeah, Chuck, I thought you said it was out of business. Well? It was out of business. Well, then how did he get it? I promise. This is important. You better tell us. I can't catch my breath. He, um... He... He what? He, he snuck in the back door. Was the owner there, the shopkeeper? I, I don't know. I don't think so. It was so real. It was like skin. What happened when he put it on? Um, first, he was really happy because he was, you know, really scary and he liked that. And then he got really, really tired. Uh, it was freaky. We've got to find him, Chuck. Steve is in trouble. Major trouble. <laughs> Thirsty. Look at that old man. I need water. I can't hear you. What did you say? I need water. Please. Oh. He's got spiders on his head. No way to. Mr. That's your face. No! No! Please don't go. Did you guys find him? No. Nope. I looked all over Maple and up and down Davenport. Got an idea. Come on. Where are you going? Please, come on. I'm not gonna argue with you. You've got plenty of candy. Two more houses, and then we're gonna go home. But, Mom, you promised. It's getting late, and it's way past your bedtime. But you promised. Please, help me. Help me. No. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, no, no wait. No, 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 no line. Can't, can't get it off. No line. Please help me. What happened? I told you it was out of business. <laughs> Why 
Why do you think Steve would come back here? Because that's what I did. When the mask wouldn't come off, I came here, and the owner of the store helped me. How did the store owner help you? He told me to find a symbol of love. I don't get it. You know that plaster of Paris head of me you were throwing around last night? Yeah. Well, my mom made that for me because she loves me. Yeah, so? So that's a symbol of love. The symbol of love that defeated the evil of the mask, the haunted mask. I don't know, Carly Beth. This is getting too weird for me. Hello? Hello? There's no one in there. Wait a minute. What's that? What's what? I thought I saw something, a shadow or something. I don't see anything. But I feel something. Do you feel it? No. What? Something cold. Maybe we should go, Carly Beth. We can't. You said the back door was open. Show it to me. Do we have to? Is anybody here? Nobody's here, Carly Beth. Steve's not here, okay? Where's the shopkeeper? Come on, Carly, let's just go. Carly? Scared me. Maybe Steve's okay. Yeah, maybe Chuck's right, Carly Beth. Maybe he just took off that stupid mask. He just took it off and now he's at home. Listen, we'll go by his house, see if he's there. I'll bet you that's where he is. Yeah, I can just see him now, sitting on his bed, kicking back, counting his candy. I sure hope so. Again. I will wait in 
the cemetery, I will wait amidst the gravestones by the stroke of midnight, and not one second later. Do you understand? Yes. Louder. Yes. Now go! stays on, and you will remain a feeble old man forever. Well, it's 11.25 now. He said he'd be home by midnight. Did you try Chuck's? I think they're together. Uh, no, but it's not important. We just wanted to stop and say hi. If you do see him, would you send him home? We will. Thanks, Mrs. Boswell. Do you want some candy? I have plenty left over. Uh, no, that's okay. Good night. Good night. Where is he? We've got to find him. Maybe we should call the police. The police can't help, Chuck. All the police in the world can't help. These masks are alive. They take you over. You're scaring me. You don't really believe that stuff, do you? I told you. It happened to me. And I think it's happened to Steve. something? I guess not. Steve! Steve! It's getting late. I'm supposed to call my mom from your house by midnight. This is, uh, about the only place we haven't looked. Remember, Carly Beth? Where you scared me and Steve last year? I remember. Come on. Worse. Your eyes will turn to pus. 
Your tongue will crawl in the dirt. I'll make your bones soft like cheese. Now smash it. Smash the head. Why? When it is destroyed, Carly Beth is mine. Now smash it. No. No. And then I'll kill you with spiders. Can you feed them? Please, please, no. Crawling over your tongue. Creeping beneath okay. your skin. Okay, I'll obey you all the way you say, please. You're groveling. Good. I like that in a boy. Smash the head. Spiders, anyone? Smash it! Now, that which protects her is gone. Steve! Let's not keep her waiting. Maybe we should go. One minute to midnight. Steve! What's wrong, Carly Beth? This is where I bury it. Oh, that's where you buried the mask? It's escaped. The mask is alive! Carly Beth! Carly Beth, calm down! It's gone! It's just a hole! It's gone! There's nothing there! What is she talking about? Carly Beth, please calm down! It's time to finish what we started last Halloween. Hold her. Steve, let her go. Will do as I say. I buried you. I was released by the power of Halloween. Now your eyes will see through mine. Now you will wear my face. Remove that mask, young man. Remove it now. Hey. Is that all it is? It's just a mask? It's just a mask! When you tried to protect Carly Beth, when you threw yourself in front of the haunted mask, that was a symbol of love. Oh boy, this is uh, this is a little too deep for me. A waiting pool is too deep for you, Chuck. We looked for you. We thought you could help. I was trapped within the mask. This boy freed me and saved you. Well, I didn't want her to get hurt. It didn't seem fair, you know. Halloween brought the evil to life. 
Your actions put it to rest. Let us hope it stays that way. Carly Bass, your mom is coming to pick up both you and Sabrina. Thanks, Mrs. Boswell. And Chuck, your dad said you can sleep over. Great. How come you're so quiet? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. <sighs> Do you want I one? guess Halloween isn't such a big deal for you anymore, huh? Yeah, I guess I'm getting too old. Yeah, give me it. Yeah, here. Well, I'm making some hot chocolate. You, uh, think what I'm thinking? Let's do it. you enjoyed that story. That Steve is a good kid. He brought me some of his trick-or-treat goodies. Mmm, cream filling, my favorite. Good night, everyone. <laughs>